I'm Christina Georges with GLTV 34. What do most students do after the 245 bell sounds? Stay tuned to this special broadcast to find out. The average high school teenager wakes up in the morning, gets ready, and heads off to school. They go to classes, socialize with friends, and wait for the dismissal bell to ring. But what goes on after school? Instead of going home and doing their homework assignments, several students stay at school because they're involved in various extracurricular activities. Several students are involved in athletics. Others join clubs. But some students here at Governor Livingston participate in the theater department. Those who participate in the unbelievable, unbelievable productions that GL puts on are called the GL Hilltop Players. They put on three spectacular productions a year. They are diligent, determined, and dedicated. Many don't realize the time and effort that goes into putting on the high caliber productions that GL put on. There are many, many steps into putting on one single production. You'll have to be there to believe it, but I'll try to give you an idea. First, there is the audition process. In a straight play, it takes two or three days. The auditioner learns a monologue and performs it in front of the director of the play. The director then asks one to run, to run lines in the actual script of a play. In a musical, there are three audition sections. Besides going through the audition of a straight show, you also have to go through two other rigorous auditions of singing and dance, and sometimes callbacks. Auditions for the musical take about a week. In order to put on a perfect production, rehearsal time is key. Rehearsing for a show requires a lot of time and effort. The Hilltop players rehearse on average from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., five days a week. Blocking is at the initial weeks of rehearsals. This is where the director simply tells the actors their positions on stage and when they say their lines. It is not as easy as it seems. During the middle of weeks of rehearsals and up to the last week before the performance, the goal is to make sure the actors know their lines and learn development and portrayal of the character each person is playing. This can be tedious and tricky. Additionally, the play is run through its entirety several times to ensure that the right chemistry between the characters is present on stage. The last week of rehearsal at GL is called Hell Week. The name says it all. It, it is a week of high stress, late nights, and hard work. Whenever, it's when everything comes together on stage, lights, set, costume, and sound, trying to make sure that the production is as perfect as possible. In a musical, rehearsals have added work in that all the performers have to learn their music and choreography. Besides getting the actors ready, there are a multitude of other things going on. There is so much happening behind the scenes in preparation for the great production. A costume designer handles the developing of costumes and fitting all the characters. They then either go to purchase the, or make the costumes. Besides the performers or the cast of their performance, there are another group of students who work as the crew. The crew is a group of students working for many hours long after the actors have gone home. They set up the lights and help build and paint the set. They work the equipment the night of the show that the technical directors have set up. It is a common fact that members of the crew are a special, special breed of students who have worked many weekends and many late nights doing the entire behind the scene work. Usually from beginning to end, the time involved for each production is about eight to 10 weeks. Cast and crew work long hard hours together side by side to produce the magnificent productions. It is an experience that is worth all the effort and work that goes into it. Hi, I'm Christina Georges with GLTV 34. I'm here with Allison Smith, who's a senior, Greg Trimmer, who's a junior, and Liz Denniger, who's a senior. They're all involved here at the plays in GL. When did you guys start having an interest in theater? Well, when my sister was in high school, she did the theater, so I naturally just followed suit. Well, I, when I was like probably around four or five years old, I always wanted to, I always was really interested in movies and everything, and I always wanted to be in them, so. Yeah, I was always interested when I went to see a play, and then Natalie, my older sister, came up here, and I kind of did the same as Alice, and I kind of followed in her path. That's awesome. Um, what is it like being involved in a straight show, which is like a play without songs? Well, um, it's, it's, no, it's no different. It's less work. We don't have music rehearsals like you would for a musical. It's, it's less work, but it's more fun. You get more into a character. You have more time to develop character. It's, it's very fun. Yeah, it's a different way to entertain, kind of. There, there's no break where you just stop and start singing, so you have to kind of keep the flow going throughout the whole rest of the show. 
Yeah, I definitely agree. Well, what about a musical? What are the challenges in being in a musical? Um, part of the challenge of a musical is that you have to sing and dance. So um, you have to be really coordinated and yeah. you have to practice a lot, so there's extra long practice. Yeah. Um, you have to sing and act and dance. And it's just, it's a lot, a lot of work, as you said. It's, and it's, it's more important to be in tune with the rest of the people in the cast, because if you're singing not together, it's just going to sound terrible. Definitely. And, you know, we're lucky to have Mr. C. <laughs> yes. Thank God. Help us. Um, <clears throat> what are your personal favorites to do? Um, like, between a straight show and a musical? I only do musicals, so I like them. Well, I prefer musicals because I like to sing more. I've only ever been in one musical, but I think I like straight shows better. Why? I don't know. Um, I'm not much of a singer. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, what's one thing you guys learned from being in a show that's not theater related? Um, you really have to work together with the people around you, so you develop like uh, friendships and bonds like that. Yeah. Besides like the friendships and bonds, there's there's like a huge responsibility that comes along with it. It's a lot of work, and you have to. You just have to take all your time and put it into that one thing. Definitely. Yeah, it's just another way to meet really awesome and talented people. Liz, um, you've worked on TV crew your underclassmen years, and now you're actually in the shows. What is that like, and what do you like better? Um, both of them are really interesting in that TV crew, you kind of get to see what's going on behind and know that there's just as much hectic, I don't know, going on back there. But. Um, on stage, I don't know, you feel more of a part of it, I think. That's just so, me. So, what do you like better? I'd rather be on stage. Cool. Um, Greg, you do the musicals and you do the straight shows. Which ones do you like better? And why don't you tell us a little bit about your singing? Um, well, as I said before, um, I like the musicals because I just love to sing. I've been singing since I was a little kid. Um, I started voice lessons when I was in sixth grade. I do shows outside of school like the paper mill conservatory over the summer uh, and it's, I just love to sing. That's great. Um, Allie, you only do the musicals and why do you opt to do them instead of the straight shows and why do you do the musicals? Um, <clears throat> I do the musical, musicals partly because the straight, so, straight shows I play sports but um, the musicals just all the dancing and I'm a dancer so that's what kind of brought me into them. Awesome. Um, have any of you guys thought about pursuing any aspects of theater, like in your future, like for careers? Um, I think I'm going to keep it as a, at a high school level, because that's just. <coughs> well, I've thought of maybe I I always wanted to be an actor, so I think I'm going to keep pursuing it. Maybe go to a performing arts college. That's great. Yeah, I really enjoy it, but I don't think I could ever make a career out of it. But yeah, it's challenging. Um. You guys are all in ITS. Could you explain what that is to everybody? Um, ITS is the International Thespian Society. And in order to become a member, you have to do a certain amount of shows and accumulate a certain amount of points. So we all got inducted, I think, like sophomore or junior year. And yeah. That's pretty much it. Do you guys, like, like what do you guys do, like, exactly? Like, what does ITS do? Well, um, then we work on the shows, like backstage and everything, like on all the aspects, not necessarily even on the show, just like things for theater. We're a theater group. Um, we just tried to get the lobby out, the, the display in the lobby. We just tried to get that to devote to, to shows and everything, and we go on a big trip at the end of the year. It's, it's have any of you guys ever been on one of the trips? Did you? Did you have fun when you went? It's or? a lot of fun because you're with the people you like, so, you know, you're among your friends. Yeah, definitely. That's really interesting. Okay, guys, thanks for coming today, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot about theater at Governor Livingston High School. Thanks for watching. This is Christina Georges signing off.